Oh, while I was looking at my cell phone, some weird thing pop up popped up on my cell phone, and it said hologram ending, which reminded me of Miss Ellie and Crystal Link's website, where she said basically that the Earth hologram was going to end. So you can look up Crystal Links on the internet. And uh, so basically that's what I felt it was going to be, was the hologram was ending, and nobody really knows what happens when your hologram ends. Other than, you know, perhaps it's going to be the end of the 3D hologram, and then you're going to be waking up in 5D. Okay, and you know, to my eye... Um, when I look at this book, when I look at it towards the book, it's proper print. And when I look at it in the screen of my camera, it's a mirror image. Okay, so there's mirror image worlds. Stuart Wilde, the metaphysical author, talked about mirror worlds. Uh, in Star Trek, the original series, there was a mirror universe. And, you know, in a multiverse, instead of one universe, a multiple universe, who knows how many other kinds of mirror worlds and other realms and other dimensions there are. I certainly don't know. But anyway, I did get that very strange pop-up message, hologram ending. And as I said, it was quite a number of months ago. Maybe it was a year ago. But I'm still here in this super hologram known as Plan E.T., Earth, planet extraterrestrial. You know, I say that because as much as it's cute to think that we're floating around on a globe that's floating around in space around the sun, um, the matrix idea that we're in a computer simulation, I've talked about in other videos and on some of my other websites and things, and what is the truth? Well, I don't have a spaceship to go way out into space to look back to see if the Earth really is round or not. So I, I don't know. And I totally disbelieve everything that I see on television. And um, pretty much the same as far as YouTube videos. Uh, trying to find truth. I cannot find truth. I cannot tell you what is true. All I know is that lies are more common than truth. And that is the nature of this particular hologram that I'm living in. So, without further ado, I will just tell you that what I do to get by in this crazy hologram uh, is I just look forward to going out and singing my karaoke and, you know, giving you my video blog updates. So, there you have it. My name's Harry Weaver, and I am the narrator at the current time. This one, it's a barefoot... And I was looking, there's a Barefoot Bistro in Whistler, British Columbia, which held the Olympics in 2010. And the Bistro, if you were going to have dinner, I assume it's you and your friend, uh, it's going to be over $200. Now, in my current capacity as a personal support worker at a nursing home, uh, I make about $20 an hour. So for me to work, well, then I get deductions taken off. So maybe I make $15 an hour. Um, so for me to afford a night out at the Barefoot Bistro in Whistler, well, it's way too many hours for me to work um, doing physical labor, um, cleaning shitty asses and uh, basically, you know, I, I'm a very low paid worker compared to what, um, a nice restaurant costs in a resort. So this is the hologram that, uh, I'm currently in that I hate. And, you know, there's plenty of other people like me that just do work -a day jobs and cannot afford to make ends meet while the hoi polloi go out every night of the week and spend $200 every night for dinner at high-end restaurants and drive around in $65,000 pickup trucks and I own no vehicle whatsoever. 
They own enormous mansions, multiple houses in multiple cities. And me, I own no real property whatsoever. So, you know, am I a little bit upset about it? Well, you'll be the judge. Anyway, that is the way I see the world. I see the world as completely unbounded, except by the fact that I'm bounded. What does that mean? It means that if you read my book, you will see that we are all on a script. And my script is simply to be someone who likes to gripe about the fact that there is gross disparities between the haves and the have-nots. And in my 54 years of life on this planet, it has only got worse. It has only got worse. It has only got worse. And, you know, I used to, when I was young, think that, well, politicians were statesmen. And now I'm thoroughly convinced that the criminals are the politicians and the people that back them and the filthy rich. So, you know, what am I going to do about it? What can I do about it, really? It's a huge hologram. And, uh, you know, all I can do is just put it out there that I consider it's, it's a hell world. It's a hell world. And, you know, if you're living in hell, then what do you do? Pray to Jesus. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Well, I used to go to church when I was a child, hoping that Jesus would help me, I suppose. Maybe my parents thought that Jesus would help me. Um, I guess I get by. That's my pregnant pause, waiting for somebody to say, well, pray harder or something, or, you know, just keep breathing, just keep breathing. Anyway, that's my Barefoot Bistro story. I cannot afford to live there in Whistler. I cannot afford to live on this planet. Plan E.T. I say Plan E.T. because this planet was created by extraterrestrials so they could have experiments to see what it's like for people to grow up in a planet like this. Why do they do it? I think out of sheer boredom, but, you know, these extraterrestrials that do monitor everything that's going on. I've already told them I think they're assholes, and they don't care. So all I can do is just yip about it as I do. Thank you for your kind attention.